I'm just straight up vandalism. Mm. You know, mm. I respect everything. Whatever anyone does, if it's street art, mm. if it's graph, mm. I'll give you respect. Mm. But you know, that's about it. Do you fear anything? Does anything fear you? Fear. Killer Killer podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. You do the Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London or central as you need to be, could be, want to be, should be, trust me. You don't want to be anywhere else, there's no point. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight, all the irregulars inside the place, strain station, hold tight, and not to mention everyone's got a television app for your sins, trust me. The sporting art, street culture, free download, Android and Apple, and they are on the App Store. Yo. We've got a gentleman inside the place, part of TU family. The aspiring up and coming next generation is here, ladies and gentlemen, you understand? London is not safe. Hold tight, dime to you inside <laughs> What's the What's happening, place. brother? What's happening? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You said you were an MC? At one second, when, no. when I threw the mic, you were just like, you're Put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it used to be, it used to be. All the grime sort of thing. I want know. a grime fit thing, yeah, yeah? Yeah, I like my grime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Very much so. Grime is is definitely the order of the day. We've got big shout DJ Argue. You know the mixes that are being done. Biggest graph fan you you come across. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me. That um, the discipline of graph it kind of transcends all different genres, doesn't it? It does. It does. It's yeah. Hip hop. It's all. It's all about the streets, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about the streets. It all, it all connects in in ways like you have a you're an MC, a writer, a break dancer, beatboxer. Come on. Come on. <laughs> but you know what? It's true, though. And it's funny how the, the UK adopted... It, it, it kind of... It, the graffiti scene of the UK attaches itself to the modern-day arc of music in ways that other countries don't, don't it? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how that comes about, to be fair. I don't know. But, of course, TU comes <clears throat> with its own uh, luxury baggage of, of arts, not just in the graph world, but... All sorts of uh, also, yeah. yeah. What was that? What was your first impressions when joining the crew? How did you join the crew? How did this all begin, bro? Oh, uh, this happened probably early 2019. Yeah, I think I was running around with Sykes. Hell tight, Sykes. Yeah. yeah, big up my guy. Yeah. Running around with him, and he sort of put a good word in for me. Mm. Obviously, they see the work, so mm-hmm. they asked me to join. I was in a few other crews, so I sort of. And what were your prior crews? What were crews? I was in. I was quite a few different crews. I was in seven one two. Nice. I was in um, SFL. Yeah. And a few others. Hold tight SFL. Yeah. yeah. Big up SFL. All day, yeah. Big up Cider. Hold, hold tight Cider. Big yeah, up man. Cider all day. Yo. Um, yeah. And also the, all the affiliates, man. I mean, dude, we've, a lot of them have been in. So, it's, you know, it's, it's good to hear that you were, you kind of came up the ranks, I guess. Mm. So, so, what, so Sykes brought you in, you know, and then, and then what was the, what's the well, problem? I knew, I knew Sykes from back in the day, like, right. when he was first starting. Yeah. So he used to shout out to me and was like, oh, let's pay him. We never did. And then we met up, got on well. Mm. And it just hit it off from there, really. I've got a lot of time for that guy, man. He's, yeah. he's blessed, man. Every time I see him, he's just a happy soul. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's Sykes, man. <laughs> I always just get the impression he's happy. <laughs> he's like, well, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen him, him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to piss him off, but I've never seen him un- unhappy. It's a no, good it's, character. It's a good vibe, man. Yeah, yeah, for Definitely. sure. Uh, at this point, also in this juncture, we want to big up uh, Dime to you from the eighties. Yeah, man, uh, big 80s. up, man. Yeah, because obviously it goes without saying, you know, he's he he was one of the figureheads of uh, of to you in the in introductory you put, you're stage. You're putting his work, definitely. Yeah, for real, for yeah. real. You you knew about him? Um, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean. This is the thing with TU as an organisation. It's it's so well rounded and it's vast. Like the fault lines are crazy. Yeah, but even when I first joined TU, I wasn't like so aware of how how big they were. Obviously, I always knew about TU. Mm. So, but then when you look into it, you get to know it. It's like, bro, right, like. Right. Well, no, there's a lot. <laughs> like sometimes, there's, there's, yeah, there's, uh, there's, they're quite big, man. But yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah, we got to TU. How did it begin, brother? Where did it all begin for you? Oh, it's probably early, two, like, no, not 2000, sorry, bro. Um, 
96. 96? 96, just running around, tagging. So how old have you been at that time? I was about 12, maybe just for coming 13, I think. And we was just running around, we was just... My mate bought um, the, the cliché Subway Art. <laughs> as soon as we opened that book... It was just, yeah. it was a holy grail, wasn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. It just opened my eyes and I started seeing graph everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Even now when you open, when I open the fucking thing, it's like a bleach of light that comes radiating yes. out of it. It's just that vibe, isn't it? It's just that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, just, just got into the tagging, just, you know, tagging the local area. Mm-hmm. What were you right before? Can you... Uh, I, I first started off with Diamond. Really? With Diamond. And then my mate was like, oh, you're taking too long with the tag, man. Let's shorten it down. I was like, well, what am I going to do? Because like, mm-hmm. I've chosen Diamond now. Mm-hmm. He's like, Dime. I was like, mm, well, fuck it. Mm-hmm. Run with that. Mm-hmm. And then just, yeah. Without just, any knowledge, prior knowledge to anybody yeah, else. Yeah, without but... any prior knowledge of just run with it and then just mm-hmm. put the work in. Mm-hmm. Stop for a bit in around about the early 2000s. It's getting a bit hot around my area. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. prolific mm-hmm. bombing. Mm-hmm quit for a bit then I think it must have been 2014 come back mm. just put my head into it and then yes yeah, so from 2014 I ain't stopped since suck back in one thing I find interesting um, about you when when I see your your tag it's a stamp yeah it's a stamp your, your pieces of stamps like every it, it, it's re, it, and that that for me in itself is it's an assurance it's like I like a wild style, you know what I mean? But, yeah, what, yeah. but what I do feel, I feel more at home when I see a thing I recognise. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a few, there's a handful of people that do that and there's something about your your dubs, the the, the, the stamp that you put is, um, it's, it's, it's proof. It's, it's foolproof. It, it does mm. what it says on the tin. But it's the repetition of it. Bam, 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 bam. That's it. Just, that's how I like it. Mm. I don't. I don't like change. Mm. A lot of people, a lot of like big writers, say, oh, try this, try that. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Really? I'm doing what I'm doing. Do yeah. what I like. Really? You have, you, have you ever tried doing anything more? I've, I tried. I've that got. One. I've got different styles. Yeah, you... I get. Yeah, let's not underestimate the style side of things. But what I mean is, like, there's a comfort zone. As you. That's it. It's, it is a fully a comfort zone for me. Yeah. Fully a comfort zone. Mm. I, someone's like, "Oh, try this. Do do colours or whatever." I'm like, "Nah, chrome, chrome and black." Mm. Uh, I've seen a blue and white. I, I mean, you, like you say, there are yeah, there is of the odd little coloured one here and there, yeah. and, you know. But mainly, it's chrome and black. I find it so interesting because you're one of those few characters again that I've I've met in the, in the same crew as well. That uh, they're quite lone wolf. Like that, you 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 don't roll too. Busy with anybody else, do you? Nah, not really. Nah, not really. If I, you see me with someone, I trust them 100%. Mm. I, other people, i got to feel them out first. Mm. Like, I'm not just going to go, hey, let's go painting. don't know who you are. Let's go. I'm not going to put my life in your hands, your life in my hands, jumping on tracks, mm. if you're an idiot. Mm. I've been out of people and I'm just like, this guy does not know what he's doing. Mm. Or they're drinking a bit too much and then it's just like the whole night I'm like babysitting them. Like, uh, oh, you know, does we're, that happen? we're jumping over three rails. Like, you're mm. out, you just had four or five beers. Like, I just feel like I'm babysitting now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I hate waiting for people. Oh, let's go out tonight. Oh, I can't come out. Let's do it tomorrow. Oh, mm. let's do it tomorrow. Fuck that. Mm. Let's, I'm going out mine. Don't have to worry about no one mm. but myself. Mm. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a bigger buzz. Yeah. What bigger buzz on your own? Yeah. Is it? But obviously, it's it, again, writing with someone. You're cool with it's, it's, a, it's another different buzz you know what I mean so yeah I like either one but if I can't wait around for you I'm going to go and do it myself there's a few questions that spring to mind that I think the the, the general public will uh, be asking themselves not not the graph public you understand <laughs> uh, the, the Joe public will be thinking right so you're on your own if there's an accident that happens God forbid yeah what you can do be fucked, am I? But yeah, safety first. Honestly, safety first. Like, if, if I'm going to a spot, I'm going to go check it out. Mm. I'm not just going to. So I'm obviously a few times you just do it. Mm. But other than that, I'm going to, you know, my get on, my get off. Mm. What's the safest way? Mm. You know, I've got kids, so got to be that extra cautious. Yeah. You know I mean? so, Yo, that plays a big part as well, doesn't it? Yeah, once the kids came, it was like, oh, I can't. Yeah. 
do as much as I want, you know. Yeah. So it slowed down a bit, but recently I've just been trying to find any time I can to get out, do what I can. Again, that's why I go out solo. I can't wait for people. Uh, you know what I mean? I could come out time. tonight, but I'm not coming out tomorrow, so it's got to be done. You've got to find your time in yeah, the space you've got. Yeah, find my time. Yeah, I feel that. How many, how many dubs do you put up a night if you used to go on, go on a spontaneous mish? Spond- a spontaneous it, mish. <laughs> it, it, it'll, probably, it'll probably be just, just the one. Really? Yeah, it depends. Depends where it is. Yeah. If there's room for another one yeah. down the line or something, yeah, yeah of course. Like, I think people underestimate how much... Uh, of, of course, there are the seasoned, but it takes a fucking lot out of you, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Because it's more it's than the, just the paint. It's, it's the climbing, the getting on. The next day, I'm like, yo, why, why is my leg not working? Like, <laughs> it's that the fucking wall I just dumped like, down. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Six foot drop. But the adrenaline is like, pumping. yeah. That, I, that's what that's what I love about it. Really, the adrenaline. I could even smoke two zooks when I got home, and still, I'm still pumped. Buzzing. Yeah. Is that what the feeling is? Yeah. It's just, is that what it does for you? That's what it does for me. Yeah. But even like when you're even when you're grappling with someone like it's yeah. a, it's a, like again the other buzz it's like you know what I mean you oh that was sick or yeah, yeah, you know yeah. when I fell over and you know what I mean it's stories isn't it oh yeah you yeah know? the camaraderie when I'm on my own it's, that's just you know we can tell people the stories but yeah you know. nothing worse for falling over on your own and feeling pretty silly without sharing yeah I did that the other night yeah yeah you just literally like, yeah just walking next thing you know I was rolling down this hill like <laughs> in your own movie looking you know to an I mean? invisible camera going that was good mate nice yeah, one yeah. <laughs> good call thank god no one's here yeah well yeah there but is a bit I of think that. I fall over more when people are around me I'm sure I do <laughs> really? anyone will tell you really yeah fucking I'm clumsy as fuck what's your favourite story of, of, of that nature <sighs> this isn't pressure you know this is the one that they probably recently I was about. out with my boy Ingo I hope it's and, by Ingo. And yeah. we was fucking, we was looking for a spot and we was just hitting nothing. We was just walking for miles. One of the nicest guys I might have as well, Ingo. Lovely fella. Yeah. Walking for miles and then we just found this hole in the fence. It was onto some tracks, but it was raining. So we was like, we was mm. like, fuck it, let's just do it. Mm. Got on there. I must have fell over about 10 times. And Ingo, bless him, didn't want to laugh. But you, you know when someone wants to laugh and they don't <laughs> want to laugh too much. So I was like, come on, bro. I was like, you can laugh about it. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you just let go. Like. <laughs> but yeah. Just, yeah, Ingo that was is, probably the recentest one. Yeah, Ingo is one of the, I, in my mind anyway, uh, along with yourself and a handful of more, of, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a younger generation of, of writer. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I, I, I do see a value in tradition and stuff, like I, but there's also a, a twist in the stuff, there's a twist in the style. The plot thickens with the new generation. I don't know, I find it very interesting to see. No, yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. North Weezy. All day, every day. Talk to me about that. What was the landscape back, like back in the day? I'm, I'm from North West Nine, so that's, you know, mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm from So, growing up around we got Tack. I'll tell you, Tack. We got the boys from uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just doing their thing. Mm. Yeah, man, just, 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 just tagging, man. Just, mm. that was it. That's how it started. Was it all gang? Was it gang related, or was it all just? Ah, there? it was. It was just. It was just local lads from the ends. You know what I mean? Mm. Just, just causing shit like mm-hmm. robbing pizza bikes and whatnot. Just doing that. Just came with it. Mm. Everyone had a tag back then. Yeah. Everyone had a tag. Mm. Whether they still do it now, hardly any of them. Yeah, that's interesting you say that because as as time's gone, and particularly after COVID. Everyone seems to be like doing a lot more graph, and everyone seems to have a tag. Well, it was, everyone had a bit of time for themselves, so you know, it's like, you <laughs> yeah. know what, what want to do with myself? Fuck it, let's get back on the graph. It was a yeah. good thing though, because like yeah, so, cool. loads of people was coming out, and it was yeah. like, oh, I ain't painted in ten years, and yeah. like, it, was, like, it was good. It was good to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the older guys are coming yeah, out. Yeah, the like, older guys. That, yeah, that. That, yeah, love that. Love that. Who was influencing you back in the day? As oh far my as god, guys go? the, you know, I I went to school in Easton. So mm. I'll come through Cricklewood, so mm. Zonk, Joke, Sub. Yeah. Sub was one of my favourite. Mm, yeah. Sub used to kill it. Sub and Bosch. Legend. Ouch. Yeah. Just, just you know, yeah, yeah. round my area, North Weezy, Atom, Issue, Alma, CTR Boys. City Rollers, all them yeah. Killing it. yeah. We used to follow them everywhere, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? We used to, oh, they got a Glad dub. I wasn't the only one. Was you know what I mean? The oh, they got a dub and gold as green. We go, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah, that was a big influence, CTR. Yeah, yeah. All definitely, day, definitely. Yeah, yeah, big that up. Um, but I don't see your influence in graph, or at least your style, it doesn't lean in those 
particular directions. That's the that's the thing. I, I, feel, mm. I think the stamp thing plays a lot uh, to my thinking of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it just feels like, again, there's no budge in your style. There's no budge. It, it, like, who would be the most closest comparable to, if you were to go on a wild style jet trip? Like, I mean, that CTR lot, I mean, heavy. Heavy, heavy. Straight Sport brownies. for choice, really, isn't it? Yeah. Out of all of them, my favourite probably Alma. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. Alma because he was that bubble style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got all different styles, but he yeah, had this yeah. at the time. He just had this bubble style, and that was just that yeah, was yeah. killer for me. Like Atom used to kill it. I think it was probably between Alma and Atom. Mm. Them two, there was like the influence. Mm. Yeah. And obviously, there was other writers about as well. You know, it's too many to mention, really. Yeah, but they was they was the ones we sort of you know. Looked up to as writers. Mm. North Weezy's got a, a tradition, hasn't it? Mm. You know, they, they just and big up South East. What I mean, I know you you get about, man. But it, you know, for something about the Northwest, it was just it was a, a, a training ground for. It was the place to be back then, wasn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Big up Tees as well. The Tees, you know, another one. It's just so many right now. Think about it. It's yeah. just so many. From back so many. There's so many to think about, or to, to even big up at times. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No. Um, what's interesting, and again, just talking as like the the, the general public, because there is a cultural shift. People like really digging, digging, seeing things roll in, or digging, seeing things on the sides, loving the fact that Graf has got this night like, kind of new. I don't know, gent- no, actually, I'm not going to say it. A new energy. Yeah, it's more. It's kind of like acceptable. Yeah, with the street art. Yeah, but there's a there's a difference. That's right, and I'm just coming to that because yeah. there's the battle aspect as yeah. well. There's the there is the beefs. There is the there's there's a street, and I think that's really pushing for. It's pushing through at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Like a real kind of energy that's that's under. It's almost like an undercurrent because of the street art thing. Do you think that? Do you think that pushes? Does that push you? The fact that that street art edge is there, and it's like well. Yeah, you know, I want to. I don't want to do that. That's not my Definitely shit. Definitely not my. It's just not my thing. Yeah. I've never been good at art anyway. So some might say, "Yo, but you're good. You're good at doing that and that." But that's about it. Mm. I don't. Sh- you know what I mean? Like big up Ingo, sick drawer. Yeah, he's a sick drawer, man. Even even my brother. He my brother started me from like he started me off graphing. Really? Yeah, like he used to. Did he used to write? He used to go out. He used to, he used to the one that got me on the solos. He used to go out on his own. Really? Yeah, he used to write Vane back in the day. Damn, V A N E. V A N E. Damn, fuck. <laughs> so, so back Hulk in the day. Vane. Come on. We don't write that now. He writes Sibo now, but he he doesn't really get out there. Yeah, this is family. This is passed down tradition. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of. But he was on it. I was just more on my street sort of thing, you mm. know, just doing my thing out there. Mm. I used to say to him, where are you going? He's like, I'm just going out. Like, he had a bag pack full, of, backpack full of spray cans, you know what I mean? Mm. And just go out. Like, and I just think, you're nuts. You're crazy, man. I'd rather just sit at home smoking draw. And then I just, just, just started following him and then mm. he got me on the dubs and that. But it's always been tags for me. Mm. So I come quite late doing the dubs. Yeah, you got a sick tag. Yeah, I'm with that. What's your philosophy on? I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the nitty gritty because I want to kind of get into your head a bit. Oh, what's the, what's the philosophy on graph for you? Like, if you were to epitomise dime in twenty twenty two, compared to a younger dime, what's the how how has it changed so much? Like, what gauging by the current climate, what your theories and feelings are towards it now? The same as they were. Just a love for it, you know. Mm. It's still there. Mm. Wish I had more of the time, but you know, it is still the same. It's still that 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 love to get out there, like anywhere I'm going. It's just a, I have to have my pens on me. Mm. It's always been the same from really? from back in the day to now. Mm. It's the same attitude. Yeah, couldn't really elaborate on it that much. Mm. But it's just, yeah, it's the same way I felt when I first started. Just that love to get up. Mm. People coming up to me, like... Even when I was going Notting Hill Carnival and, like, random people coming up to me, oh, bro, I see your stuff everywhere. I just love it. That must really surprise you when you... Yeah, see... it does. Even does nowadays... Does get edgy when you're, like, you're doing... You're actually doing a dub? Yeah. That must really get you... You go... So I don't go Leak Street. Yeah. I go Leak Street and it's... 
Yo, bro, you dying me? Yeah. I'm just like, oh, bro, like, yeah, allow it, allow it. Like, safe, appreciate it. Thanks for the love. But it's but, the like, worst feeling. Leave me to do my, leave me to do my things. Because you don't know who's tapping you. Yeah, that's it. But you know, when you're in these legals, I don't like it because people just come along like Shoreditch. Mm. It's always some drunk idiot coming along. Oh, let me, let me spray me tag. Let me spray. Oh, fuck off, man. Mm -hmm. I thought you get this can over your head, man. Just yeah, go. I don't think I've ever really seen too much of you in legal spots. Nah, rarely, rarely. Yeah. If I need to get out and I can't get out, then I might, you might catch me in yeah. a legal spot once mm. once in a blue moon. I don't mm. mind, but it's a waste of pain to me. Because, mm. you know, you do a little, you do a nice sort of thing at a legal spot, next day, oh, it's gone. Mm. It's just like, shit, I could have just fucking saved that paint mm. and gone out, and that would be there for two, three years, you know? Yeah, Maybe that's longer. the other thing as Maybe well. Maybe not. The, the, the internal beefs in a, in a hall of fame and and how long pieces are actually there for is a quick turnaround compared to an illegal. Mm. Like that that tends to stay there from there on after, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So that's probably what I don't like about it. I don't mind someone going over me. It's illegal, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. It's just, it is what it is. I've always wondered why that is. Like people get disgruntled by I mean I get it Leak Street is like literally like 24 hours if that, like that that's ridiculous you can't be getting mad if someone goes over your Leak Street no. I've never got mad it no. is what it is isn't it yeah. it's who's next yeah, you know? yeah. take your flick be it's like out. a gangbang isn't it <laughs> <laughs> who's next <laughs> who's next <laughs> it's the graffiti gangbang the whole of the, the whole of the whole of shame all the sluts go down there <laughs> yeah. no. um well, give us some more stories, man. I mean, like, oh, you know, you, you, you've clearly got a checkered uh, uh, graph history. I've got so many stories. But you know when you're trying to think of them? <laughs> oh, so... Oh. Don't know, like, you've been thinking and not been thinking about them on Route of Work. Oh. I, have, I haven't, you know, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I should have. Yeah. Anything that's, like, classic what, like... I need to get this one out now because I'll never have the opportunity to say it again. you got to give, give us some, oh, give us some high the grade. Worst, the worst one had to be... Mm. We went, I went there with a couple of the lot and some, I think it was like four other, four, it, was, it was like 13 of us. Mm. We just all run, well, we was all crawling on the ground towards this train. Yeah. It all come on top. We finished our stuff. We finished what we was doing. Yeah. I was just about to take my picture then, uh, oi! Da -da -da, turn around, it's fucking BTP right at the fence looking at us, like, stay there. And you just imagine 13 other people just running through the fields of like Yo. got caught in all these stinging nettles I mean the stinging nettles must have been like six foot mm -hmm. I'm, you know it was like one of them fucking movies where you're just getting dragged to yeah. the ground and yeah. thing, you know, I'm laying there I'm like I can't move mm. and then someone I think it was mm -hmm. big up pulled me out of these fucking stinging nettles and was like let's go like and that Wounded was it. soldier shit literally just let's go pulled me out I, was, I think I was bigger than him at the time he pulled me out mate it was just pure adrenaline and the BTP were just behind us. I see the torches, everything. So I just laid there. I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just yeah, going to yeah, fucking yeah. lay here. And then out of nowhere, I think he actually stood on me, coming, must have stood on me and see it was me. And then just like pulled me out of these fucking stinging nettles. Yeah. We must have run for about three miles. That was horrible. I don't think I grabbed for like three months after that. Just out of the... The impact of it. How, yeah, oh. just the, how on top it was. Really? And I think a few of them got raided a couple... Couple really? Of weeks later. Don't I get you paranoid, bro. Yeah. That would just drive me senselessly paranoid. I'll clear, I'll clear my flat out a few times. Really? Just in case. Does that happen? It happens, yeah. Did, no, as in the paranoia, does that. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Of course. Yeah. Always. It's... Especially if you're doing a bit of steel. Yeah. Definitely. Because I'm not a big train writer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, no, oh, I do all these trains. That I've and we few. might add, don't try this at home. Yeah. This is, don't try this at home. This is purely for. Uh, Leave it to the professionals. Yeah. And it happened. Um, in retrospect, that uh, that feeling, man, it must never go away. It must just be like, and every time you go out, do you do you feel like any sense of paranoia, like being out and about generally? Yeah, yeah, of course. Really, there's always that. Uh, I think that's what keeps you going. I think that's what gets adrenaline going. You know, really. Yeah, it's always that. It's always that. You got. You kind of. You can either let it get over, go over you, mm. or you can just you can just get get on with it. You mm. know. Some people you go out with, it's too much. Oh, fuck this, I'm going home. Other people, mm. calm. How much of it becomes the norm, though, to the point that complacency kicks in and you go on to, not you necessarily, but to, to, the, to somebody that 
is well, extremely well seasoned, and it just becomes the norm to the point where they make may make silly mistakes. They make just because they've got away with it for so long, or they forget what the mm. anxiety is about. Do you know what I'm saying? No, a good writer don't ever forget. Really, especially if you're going, you're, you're, you're playing with your life. Yeah, I take it serious. You ain't taking it serious. Go home for you know, mm. or as an RIP on top of your head, like. Take it serious, Real man. Talk. It's not a game. It ain't a game. Like, these youngers coming out now, you think it's a game? When that train hits you, you ain't going to know it hit you. Real talk. And them freight trains. Them freight trains. You hear them from the side. If one comes past, you can hear that. Really? If that's coming head on... You don't even hear tell it? Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't hear it. Really? I've, I've had three occasions where I'm just walking on tracks. Three, four in the morning. Them freights go 24 hours. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even know. This is like back in the day. You, well, know? you just hear it creaking and then all of a sudden... It's... You feel it. You feel it. But when you're stepping over the, you know, the, yeah. between the tracks, you know, you're sort yeah. of like doing this certain step. Yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, you turn around, it's a fucking freight train, no 20 oh. foot away, like... Oh, fuck few times. that shit. But as, again, taking people with you, that drinking, took two lads with us one time, me and... Big up... It's my boy. Yeah. Um... Told them if I take you out, I'll tell you what to do, innit? Like, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm giving you tips as to save your life. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not being patronizing. Yeah. Da, da, da. Every couple seconds, yeah. check your back. But you won't be here, it'll be on my head if um, something happens. Me and Links are at the front, we're going to check ahead of us. Mm. You two, you're checking behind, check for trains, check for the freights. Mm. But these guys are drunk, so they're fucking doing Brazilian martial arts, you know, that fucking capoeira. Yeah, they're doing that, and we're like turning round. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Come on, like, me and I'm going to give him a slap, right? Yeah, yeah. And kept telling him, kept telling him, turned round to tell him to keep a lookout, a fucking freight train right behind him. Oh. We're literally like, oh, it was too close. It was too close. They nearly got beaten. Because oh. that was their job, was to keep their eye. They should have seen that coming, you yeah. know? But they didn't. They were too busy fucking about. So, don't do drink and drugs. For real, like, <laughs> a whole bunch of levels here. You get an idea that this shit ain't for for fun. This is this is some habitual business that should not be repeated outside of uh, outside at all. Oh, oh man, there are so many fucking questions. Right, so you're saying you can feel the vibrations of the freight? Yeah. So yeah. super quiet. Then all of a sudden you feel the tremors. It's like something out of a eighties. You got you got to put your you got to put your foot on the track, the actual track itself. In the yeah. middle of the track, you're gonna feel yeah. it. Prove me wrong. Someone prove me wrong. But. Head on, you don't hear them coming. Uh-huh. You don't. That sound, it, it's like it goes out, you know, yeah. it doesn't go straight forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yo. I mean, your senses are so weakened by the dark. Every, I guess your se- sound and feel is heightened. Like, Yeah, it's heightened. Like you, I've done dubs in pitch black. You wouldn't be able to see. Really? But, you know, once you're there, once you're in that darkness for a good, you know, 10, 15 minutes, it, it becomes... Yeah. You know, you just, yeah, you, just, you can just see what you're doing. Especially with Chrome. Chrome helps. Yeah, 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 I was going to say. But <laughs> even that, that being said, like, again, to the untrained, like myself and the audience, like, the darkness, you've only, there's only two options. You've learned to be really fast and you've learned your Speed pattern. Speed is everything. Yeah. Speed is everything. With me, anyone tell you I'm quick. Like, but it never uh, looks like it. You lot, you lot, when you paint like that, it just, it just fries my head. It takes me like fucking ages to do anything. Yeah. Like, if, I'm, if I'm doing, a, if I'm doing colours and, and a piece, it takes me a good couple of hours. Really? But if it's come chroma black, five, ten yeah. minutes max. That's all I want to be on. Is that as soon as you see the chrome, you're like, I know what I'm doing now. It's fast. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. It's just a, it's just a chrome blob, and then just do the lines, mm. do my back colour, whatever mm. key line, mm. and then out. I'm gone. I hate, Mad. If you take too long, I will wait for you. But really, <laughs> hurry up! Yeah, yeah. You know what really? I mean, I'm, I'm, I am a bit too quick for everyone in, in a sense. Like a lot of people that take it like mm. you're doing a chrome, you shouldn't be doing no longer than twenty minutes max. Let's mm. just say twenty minutes. Mm. See, you're on the front. Is it really worth it? But, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing, and like you're constantly with those sorts of people. Like, make no mistake it about it, ladies and gentlemen. Diamonds, one of the names that recently, you know, you're at the forefront of activity. Things are happening. You must... Is there a compromise? Like, do you ever feel like um, you're, you're, you're having to compromise for those reasons where, you know, I'm just not got... I've not got that stamina, or which, which I'm only guessing it could yeah. be an option. Or is it that you, you know, you, you know yourself and it's like, I can't do that. Do you yeah. ever feel like you're... I can do it, but... on that? Yeah, yeah. I just, I just know what... 
what I will and won't do yeah. at the time, you know? Yeah. If it's a good enough spot for me, I'll do it. Mm. But if I can get the same sort of spot, ground level, I'll stay, I'll stay to the ground. Yeah. yeah. That's just, that's just me, I guess. Uh, yeah, like, the world of graph just gets me every time, man. I find it's just so crazy. We're all different, aren't we? We're all fucking different, bro. It's fucking mad. Well, that's, 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 that's the beauty of it, though, isn't it? Yeah. You meet so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Yeah. It's mad. I met, met some some good people in graph. Yeah. Some yeah. Made some good friends. So. Yeah, me too. I think we're very lucky. I mean, I've never met a bad egg. I know it's it's good. It's good when you meet a writer as well, and you, you know what I mean. Because if I let's just say I'm I'm at home with my missus, I'm talking about this and that. Yeah. Like, it's only so much she she wants to listen to. You know, she's yeah, not into yeah, graph. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. she likes not it. Into... No, she likes she my likes stuff. Yeah. She doesn't mind graph, but you know, she doesn't bother about my stuff. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know that sort it's of thing. thing. Yeah. You know, even even my mom, my dad's. Mm. Like, well, why are you doing that? You know. Mm. It is what it is. Mm. My mum my mom loves the graffiti. Mm. She loves Cosa. She sent me a picture of Cosa, one of Bam, like all these pieces. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Don't like the tags, though. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't oh, like the tags, though. Yeah, I always find that so I'm really like, cheers, mum. That's like what I mostly do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just send me more of what I do, you know. But that's endearing. I love it. My missus, sometimes she'll send me a photo and I'm just like, bless. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, they know that you... They know, you know, they know. It's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Would you reckon they would be paying attention though if you weren't doing it? Do you reckon your missus would be completely oblivious if you weren't if you weren't there every like day going, "Yo, check this out." Do, oh. do you think she'd be in it? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I think that all the time, my missus. Yeah. <laughs> probably not. She probably wouldn't like. She'd probably like me to quit. You reckon? Yeah. Probably. Has it got past that point? Well, it's just you know. It's just, I think for her, it's you know she's you know she she reads the stories about yeah. people getting killed, you know, yeah, yeah. like yeah, which is which is outweighs the it outweighs the good every time. Doesn't she it? she doesn't see that. Like, I tell her, you know, I'm I'm like I mm. make sure I'm safe, like, but she doesn't see that. All she sees is, especially if I'm going out on my own, mm. I think she worries more than she's only gone there, isn't it? You know, all my family from Manchester, so I yeah. go up there every now and then. I said, you ain't got a car, you ain't getting, you know what I mean? You're not getting around that much. You know what I mean? I'm sure you can get about, but compared to London, you know what I mean? We could just get, that's what I used to do. Just Me and my boy used to get on the bus and we'd go, where are we going? We'd just go to a random spot. Mm. Let's fuck it, we're going here. Mm. We'd go there. We'd we'd hover around for a bit, smoke a few zoots, hit a few tags and, you know, move Mm. on to the next spot. And that's how we used to do. Mm. Transit's so, so easy, like in London, you know, jump on a bus, you're in another, you, you could, <laughs> well, I mean, it takes yeah. longer to be all city, trust, but, you know, to, to, yeah. to get about, it's not as hard as other cities, is it? No, it's not. We got it lucky. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Didn't like it when the night trains were running there. That mm. fucked us up. Yeah, it's like, but if you can get away with it, if you've got cover, fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait yeah, till yeah. it goes dark. Yeah. It's not too bait. Yeah. Crack on, get home early. Some people would would consider that crazy in thinking that you'd sit in one place for three, four hours a long length, right? Yeah, sometimes. That's that's um, that's commitment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been in a few bushes for a few hours. As long as you got a couple of zoots, something to eat. Really? Yeah, man. It's just definitely a couple of zoots, definitely. Yeah. But then just imagine, like me and one time, we was walking through a fucking yard. We were just bunning zoots, but I didn't even think about it. Anyone, any security guy walking around, be like, I "Fucking smell weed." There's gonna be anyone smoking weed around here. You know yeah. what I mean? Didn't really think about it. I think it was with someone else, no names, but he was like, oh, you look hot, you look hot. No, like, stop smoking. And I was like, fuck that, man. Just didn't care then. This was a lot, this was a long time ago. Doesn't it get more hot? You can't get more hot than, than having the smell of aerosol, though. Like that, well, exactly. compared to weed, like... It, that's we, more distinctive to yeah, a security yeah. guard, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But when you're in a yard, that's kind of like, you know, not in the middle of nowhere, but there's not civilians around for, mm. you know... It shouldn't be there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. To, to smell weed, it'd be like, well, that's in the air. That would just be weird. If he would be smoking at this time of night, but yeah, yeah. compared to like the air is holding. It's such an interesting subject, man. It just completely engrosses me. I get so yeah. lost in these stories. It's interesting. It's interesting when you when you watch when you watch the interviews on that. Mm. You know, just people's different perspective and mm. how they come about it. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I think the most the, the most insightful thing about it all is. Um, for for different times in the the the, the, the lifespan of graffiti, 
some of the stories correlate and the moment they correlate is like yo you create in it's like an east enders tapestry of just like yeah. stories <laughs> it's bonkers it's yeah. bonkers what's the future my brother just keep doing what i'm doing mm. that's it you're gonna do this mm. there's no going back what if you're really about this life there is no going back mm. there's not even when i stopped i still i still doodled you know, I still did, still did my lines of tags. You know what I mean. I still kept it going. So, yeah, it, it, it just doesn't stop. It's an entertaining thought as much as a sobering one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like wow, like, what is Graf gonna be like this time next year? Let alone what's going on like <laughs> in ten years. Well, the last two years, it's. I mean, there's, there's so many more writers now. It yeah. seems there's just more. Just popping out the woodwork everywhere. Yeah, for sure. A lot of half-hearted, you know. Just create an Instagram, do a couple of tags on a train and Be put out. a picture up. Like, yeah. it's not, that's not graph. Yeah, it's interesting you say that. I, I, I definitely feel like there's an influx um, of people and ideas and things. I guess once the, once the dust settles, it's who's left in the arena. That's it, that's it. Goes the distance, isn't it? Who goes the distance... But it's age it, as well, isn't it? Age, it takes time to progress. It, you know what? That's right. It takes, it takes time. Even, even the tag, even my tag, mm. took me years. Mm. To, like, to get it to where it is now, mm. took me years. Mm. Just Like I said, my little tip, anyone, you want to get good with your tag, you used to get told off at school, you have to write lines. I do lines of tags. Mm. And I would do, I've got books, probably throwing them away now, but just books and books and books, just lines of dime tags. Really? But even when you make a mistake, sometimes you create a new, a new letter, if you know what I mean. You're just doing it this way, but then you, your hand moved, the next thing you know, you've got to fuck, you know what I mean? Wow. But even sketching, yeah. I don't sketch as much as the next man, yeah. but I do. But sometimes you do, I try something different and I'm mm. like, oh, wow, that looks quite good. It wasn't supposed to be like that. That's how you find different letters, you know. Yeah. You're not if you're not if you're not practicing your tag every day, you're not doing your sketching, you're not gonna get any better. Mm. Come on, there's people that have been writing, say they've been writing for how long and no improvement. Mm. Come on. Mm. Come on. Mm. You you oh, you have to improve. Mm. If you're not improving, give it up. Wise words. Very Real wise talk. words. Just give it up. So the future is progress. Practice, Progress. Practice. Yeah, that's it. Growth. Growth. That's it. If you, I don't know. It's like any craft, isn't it? If you're not getting better at it, what are you doing it? Mm. You know? Yeah, you got me thinking, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you're doing all right, man. You're doing all right. <laughs> man, like Dime T, thank you so much, my brother. How was so that for you? Bro. That's all good, bro. Yeah, man. Absolute pleasure. Part of that ongoing tapestry on the Killer Color podcast on this graph side of things. Don't forget, we've got the music on the Tuesdays. Um, but yo, thanks so much for tuning in. Sharon is caring, all right? Uh, you take care of yourselves. Don't talk to anyone we wouldn't, all right? You stay lucky, people. Peace. Peace. Woo.